My resting heart rate has dropped almost 10 beats per minute in the last nine months. It is plummeting. At this pace, I'll be at zero in about five years. It appears I'm dying. Can resting heart rate predict life expectancy? Why is mine dropping so rapidly? And what is the optimal beat rate? Well, let's get into it. <laughs> Large animals have slower resting heart rates than small animals. They also live longer. From mice and hamsters to elephants and whales, slower is better. Although humans are an exception, it can be traced to medical intervention. For example, giraffes tend to skip their annual checkup. Shame on them. This observation was attributed to a higher metabolic rate in the small animal versus the large animal. A high metabolic rate leads to the development of free radicals, oxidative stress, and faster aging. The faster your metabolism, the faster your death. I think I'll skip on those metabolism boosting supplements. This is the basis of the rate of living theory. It explains that aging occurs due to the exhaustion of some finite resources. Like your heart only has so many beats or your lungs only have so many breaths. Once they run out, you're dead. And decreasing the rate of each of those can extend longevity. This theory as originally conceived has been debunked, but new research suggests that there is some truth to it. It's clear that higher resting heart rates in humans is generally bad. It leads to inflammation, oxidative stress, and endothelial dysfunction. This isn't good, but worse is associated with heart disease, stroke, and cancer. I don't like those. And worst, mortality. The higher your resting heart rate, the sooner your death. In the clinical setting, normal range for resting heart rate is 60 to 100 beats per minute. But as I always say, normal isn't good. Average isn't good. I want optimal. I want to know what resting heart rate is best for extending longevity and increasing health span. So for that, Let's look at some charts. A meta-analysis of prospective studies showed that sudden cardiac death occurred least in resting heart rates below 55 beats per minute. The Jackson Heart Study showed that death occurred least in BPMs ranging from 30 to 55. No matter where I searched, optimal resting heart rates lie below 55 beats per minute. That optimal range doesn't even overlap with the clinically normal range, which is kind of funny. But I thought this statistic was the most useful. All-cause mortality increases 17% for each 10 beat per minute increase in resting heart rate. Each beat that you can reduce decreases your risk of death. Each beat matters. Now resting heart rates can vary from person to person based upon age, genetics, and gender. So comparing your resting heart rate to someone else's isn't always helpful. But mine is lower than my brother's and he's 12 years younger than me, chronologically, clearly not biologically. Although he may or may not have beaten me in a 4th of July 5K a few weeks ago, I would say that running speed is a lagging indicator of resting heart rate, so let's give it a few months and we'll reassess. As I mentioned earlier, my resting heart rate is plummeting. My Apple Watch shows that I went from 58 beats per minute last October to 51 beats per minute this July. That's about a one beat per minute decrease per month on average. And for my research, it seems like that is attainable for many people. My aura ring on the other hand shows that I went from 46 beats per minute in January when I acquired it to 42 beats per minute now in July. I think the discrepancy comes from when I wear the devices. For example, I don't wear the Apple Watch at night. So for nine hours each day, it isn't logging my lowest resting heart rates. But either way, it seems that I am in the optimal range and trending downward. This trend is due to my increased fitness activity and my at running program. Ever since recovering from injuries last summer, I've been on a roll. Running, lifting, and rowing my way to lower heart rates. Only time will tell if I can reach the elite level seen at athletes in the mid to upper 30s. The primary way to lower resting heart rates is through exercise. Anaerobic or aerobic exercises put stress on the heart that causes adaptations. Hypertrophy occurs the heart becomes larger and stronger. This helps improve oxygen transportation and utilization. In summary, the body becomes more efficient. It needs less pumps or beats to accomplish the same work. So get exercising. As I've mentioned before, it could be as simple as doing a 45 minute zone two biking session with a few intervals at the end, four times a week. Throw in a few total body strength sessions and you are on your way to plummeting heart rates too. And a fun fact, I think one of my science fair projects was actually on resting heart rates back in grade school. Here I am 20 years later doing the same thing. Hopefully better now though. Then again, my dad did most of the work back then, so I guess that means I'm not better than my dad. So here are my final thoughts. From rats and monkeys to lions and humans, it appears that lower resting heart rates are better. It's a great indicator of disease and lifespan. Although 60 to 100 beats per minute is clinically normal, 
I found it's best to be below 55. The best way to accomplish this is with a consistent, progressive fitness program. As for me, at my current dissension, it appears that I'm an outlier with only five years left on the clock. So enjoy these posts while they last because the end is near. Thanks for stopping by and checking out the channel. If you're interested in more Habits for Health excellence, feel free to check out my weekly newsletter where I include those along with the most important things that I've read, watched, or listened to within the past week. If you're interested in that, there's a link down in the description. Thanks again, and I look forward to seeing you guys next week. Shots at my dad and brother in the same post. <laughs>